artist presentation on Sally Mann by Wyatt Rush. Sally Mann was born on May 1st, 1951 in Lexington, Virginia. She lived with her mother, Elizabeth Evans Munger, her father, Robert S. Munger, and Brian and Chris, her two older brothers. Her family was very poor since she was born. And that is displayed on the left in some of the pictures of her family life that she recreated with her children. The picture on the far left actually is a very good example of that, as it shows an old truck and two girls with sh without shoes on. And it looks as if the older girl is actually putting makeup onto the younger girl. And this could be an example of how they almost want to cover up and mask their poor lifestyle to everyone around them so they can seem to what they perceive as normal, even if no one is truly normal. Sally's family life. On the right, you can see a picture of her oldest daughter. Sally's father, Robert S. Munger, was a very strong atheist who forced it and pushed it onto Sally. And that affects her later work, as in some paintings or pictures such as Go Down Moses. I will talk about that furthermore on slide 9. But her father wasn't all that bad as he actually introduced her to photography. Her mother was very supportive and actually really tried to push a feminism outlook onto Sally. So she was more women empowerment. And I believe that is a very good thing as girls should always be taught that from a young age because it used to be they were learned they had to rely off of men. But... That isn't how it should be. It should be equal. And it's a great thing that Sally was introduced to that. And I will talk about one of her pictures on slide 10 that talks more on that. Her brothers, Brian and Chris, were not very present in her life as they were much older than her. Candy Cigarette. This picture was taken in 1989. It shows her two daughters, one in the foreground that seems to be holding a cigarette, but as you can imply by the title, is a candy cigarette. To make sure the daughter in the middle, or more centered to the left, is prominent and the main focal point of the picture, she actually blurs and dilutes the picture around her, but also uses other things, such as her looking straight into the camera, or the other daughter looking away, or the candy cigarette creating this line that draws towards her. This picture also could talk about how kids, while alone without adult influence, will do things they're not allowed to do. And that's why the little one is looking away, because she doesn't want to be associated with it and get in trouble. A friend's toolbox. This picture was taken in 1996, and it almost invokes fear, as shown with her third daughter in the foreground that seems to be biting her nails while looking down a hill at a fire. This could refer to plenty of things as in the French losing wars to just a big pollution in that era and in that time of 96 where there were random forest fires and pollution everywhere and it was not a healthy time. People were fearing for their environment and again they blur out almost everything except that fire and the girl in the front who was biting her nails to help invoke that fear and that flame. Sorry game. This picture was taken in 1989, which was a very active year for Sally. This picture has a weird bit of anxiety to it where it seems as if something has just happened. The mom could have yelled at them, gotten them in trouble. They could have just lost their house. Something important could have happened, but nobody wants to talk about it because it's awkward. It could be an uncle getting drunk and on Thanksgiving. It could be something simple like that or something way worse as in a crime they committed. But no matter what, you can feel this bit of anxiety 
and they seem as if they covered up with a game of sorry. So the title sorry game can mean it literally as they're playing a game of sorry, the board game, or metaphorically as she, Sally is sorry for what she did done to these kids. Holding Virginia. This picture was taken in 1983. And as I said previously, Sally was from Virginia. This picture shows a man holding a girl, which could represent plenty of things. It could represent a father not wanting to let go of his daughter. And that's where the name Holding Virginia can make sense, as Sally has never moved out of her hometown of Lexington. She has stayed there her whole life and raised her kids there. And this could be an example of how she's still holding on to the past and has a fear of change or aging. Go Down Moses. This is the atheistic pi picture I was talking about, where it shows a girl with fear, just plain white eyes. Now Moses died in the Bible while going th walking through the desert and he reached the promised land. This could represent how Sally wants to reach the promised land as she wants to believe in something, but her father's atheistic point of view on her has changed that severely to where it's this fear. As the person in the foreground almost looks like Medusa, which are two very unrelated things, the Bible and Medusa. This could show how all mythologies blur into one for her as she does not know which she wants to believe. And this picture was also taken in 1989, along with our next picture, the woman's studio. This is another one I was talking about previously involving her mom. She's very feministic. And that's just shown in here as the older girls, or the two girls are acting as if they are older. And as if they are empowered. When the child in the stroller and the child she's holding are both dolls. Because they are still children who are trying to act older than they are. And... That will conclude the end of my presentation.